Disney, you know, it just means so much to me. It's it's not only just such a part of everybody's childhood. Everybody has a favorite Disney movie or a childhood memory. My first Disney movie experience as a kid. I'm still a kid. Let's be clear about that. Obviously, Lady and the Tramp um, was a classic for me. You know, I'm still a big kid. I love Snow White, I love Peter Pan. We didn't have uh, streaming back then, right? So for me, my real memory of a real cinematic moment going into a movie theater to see a Disney animation was with Little Mermaid. And I was blown away. I think it was Beauty and the Beast, and I was madly in love with Belle and I dressed up as her for Halloween every single year. Um, I wasn't very creative, but I just really felt like I related to her in so many ways. Definitely the first one I remember was, uh, uh, was I think, was Pinocchio. But the big thing for me when I was growing up was uh, the original Mary Poppins. And that just blew me away, just blew me away. I really grew up on the animations. Pinocchio, Dumbo, those factored really big when I was a kid. And I, I always think somehow it was a huge part of making me an actor because that really was a way to kind of form telling stories for me. All the sort of original, you know, princess movies were huge for me. And then on to Fox and the Hound and Aristocats. It was a very exciting thing when a Disney film was coming out. She's younger than me. <laughs> I missed that middle period. <laughs> Ooh, my earliest Bambi. Bambi is sad. Let me just say that real quick. Uh, but it moves you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Jungle Book, I remember Mowgli very, very well. Um, but one of my favorites is the original Lion King, because I took my girlfriend senior year of high school, and as we were walking out of the movie theater, she held my hand and she said, can we see it again? And I was like, girl, come on. We're gonna go right back right now. <laughs>